The Spare Grills have some kettlebell skills. Well, he's a survival king, at least on TV, and we're gonna find out how he fares when it comes to kettlebell training. We're gonna react to it and see what kind of benefits and what kind of knowledge we can draw from it. Grüß mit dran, Gregory von Lebestag hier. These kettlebell workout reaction videos serve two purposes. First of all, it's educational. We want to see if we can benefit and learn from it. And second of all, we always like to react to celebrities and athletes because we see that these videos are highly in demand on our YouTube channel. So let's get it started. Bear Grylls is doing a workout from B Military Fit, an outdoor fitness company that runs some franchises and he also co-owns it. The coach is doing a great job in my opinion. The only thing that I don't understand is he shows the exercises with the kettlebell and then once they start the workout he's actually doing a power clean with a dumbbell which kind of changes the aspect of training doing a clean or a cleaner press with a dumbbell is different than doing it with a kettlebell the other thing that i found is the coach does not correct bear grills form they do a follow along workout and sometimes i believe bear grills as a form that could be corrected however probably the coach thinks hey this is a follow along workout and i don't want to correct the boss i don't want to make him look bad or whatever it's just very interesting so the first exercise the coach is showing is a so-called goblet squat he calls it a sumo squat which can be semantics however if you do a kettlebell squat you always have to use the biomechanics of your front squat so that means you have to push those knees out push those feet Feet out to make sure your upper body stays straight. The reason why it probably would have been better to call the kettlebell, this kettlebell exercise a goblet squat is because of the goblet grip. Because you can see Bear Grylls is doing a different grip and he's having some trouble with it. So the second exercise he's showing is a power clean. So you grab the kettlebell on the floor, boom, pull it up and you got it in a very nice rack rest position. Why do we call it a power clean? It's because you put the kettlebell down on the floor and then you pull it back Back up which uses more power than using a traditional clean where you go into a backswing. So now let's check out Bear Grylls form. So he grabs a smaller kettlebell and then he rethinks it says okay I have to go with the heavy one. This is a 24 kilo. Now oof, this is dangerous if you grab it like this. <laughs> Always make sure to grab the kettlebell firmly and if you have the kettlebell and the handle on the handle like this it just pulls you down. You need a lot of power in your arms to stabilize the kettlebell. A better way would be like I mentioned in the beginning to grab the kettlebell like this pushing your elbows together using the power of your chest muscles to stabilize the kettlebell which would be a bit easier so bear is hustling and grinding yep and then we yeah with this heavy weight smacking the kettlebell on the arm external rotation kettlebell pulls down outside the center of mass can be dangerous to the shoulder that's what i say so many times that's why we always say clean the kettlebell and rack it so that your arms are internally rotated use your stronger muscles to stabilize the kettlebell switching the kettlebell he has a hard time and and the left side you see this imbalance he's struggling more on the left side which is normal this happens many times that you have some dis imbalances but here i believe bear is using way too heavy it's too heavy it's too heavy and you see boom smacking the kettlebell externally rotating the shoulder so in the second part of the workout they use different exercises now the coach is doing a reverse lunge with the weight in front of him i really like that variation that's an awesome way to do a lunge and then they go into a push press racking the kettlebell or the dumbbell and then boom it's a thruster actually it's not a press it's a thruster so now you see the re reverse lunge and you see how bear is struggling a little bit probably do it without weight just to find some stability because you see the difference between bear and the coach the coach is stable and strong and bear is struggling a little bit but that's totally fine if bear hasn't been working out recently or whatever so that's what it is and then whoops i think they have some lag or some latency now he's yeah he's doing a a thruster but he's really struggling just always make sure racking the kettlebell keeping your arms inside we always say follow the medial line keep it close so you use your strongest muscles and then there's this one thing that i want to point out that i saw bear doing is switching the kettlebell overhead i think he's doing it right now we you we, we. never 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 do this never do this if you use heavy weight switching an overhead like this and then you're tired and it flips and boom 
it lands on your head and then he, he's kind of inserting it back into the hand. Don't do this. Set the kettlebell down, put it down, and then you put it back up or go into a backswing. Don't do overhead stuff like this. This, this can be very, very tricky. When it comes to the selection of the exercises, I love the thruster. It's a full body exercise. Doing a reverse lunge works the lower body a little more while keeping the upper body stabilized because of that additional weight. And then doing cleans, it's a staple exercise. We love cleans, always a great exercise. And goblet squats as well, always a great selection of exercise. So that's what it is. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think of Bear Grills Farm? Should he improve a little bit? Or do you think he was just tired? Maybe it didn't work out for long? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, like it. Dislike it if you don't like it. Share it with your friends if you really enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of this kettlebell stuff and want to upgrade your kettlebell game, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out our 30 Days of Kettlebells course where you can work out with us for 30 days. Link is in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.